murder without the mess. Enter the revolting psyche of Curtis Craig. Hey, oh, my autobiography. You know, I'm picking up on some subtle vibes that maybe, just maybe, and bear with me on this, Curtis might have killed someone. I don't know what's giving me that indication. It's just like, you know, it's just a feeling I have. Oh, I was supposed to use this on Curtis, okay. Even though we read it, like, Curtis didn't read it. We really gonna watch him read the whole thing? Yeah, that's fair. Took it pretty well, all things considered. Blob thoughts. Fine, fuck you too. Bookshelf thoughts. Fine, fuck you as well. What happened? See if I care. Mirror town? Alright. Let's go back to work, I guess. Unless I can go to my appointment. Uh, of course not. Dreaming tree? Uh, of course not. Man, just go back and forth between Wintech and home over and over and over again until you find out what you're supposed to do. Alright, no, don't let me, don't tell me I never tell you nothing. Cause I had to look it up again. Cause I just couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do. Again. And it turns out, the password for archive is carpe diem. Which, I guess I understand now why they made me look at that plaque in the wall. But also, like, I wouldn't really have thought to do this. Oh, oh, this is, oh, that's definitely serious business. Not only is it classified, the note, it's got classified written on it seven times, in all capital letters. Incredible. In this, the exciting early st days of the Threshold Project, we are delighted to report a marked stability in the Threshold Pulse. Using the latest in surge suppression technology, we have been able to control something. Alright, that was not very enlightening. What do I do now? I go to the memos folder. Okay. Oh, these are probably all carpe diem as well. No, oh, of course, that makes sense. Apparently the passwords for this are infection, revelation, and desecration, which, you know, that makes sense. But, honestly, I wasn't going to make that connection. Hello, Ed. I realize that you and all of security have been very busy over the past few days, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to make your life tougher still. I want to totally restrict access to the basement levels of Wintech on account of the demon portals. Prevent entry... Preventing entry... <sighs> preventing entry to anyone and everyone but myself and the Threshold Scientists. It simply wouldn't be safe to have employees venturing down there and possibly run into something that could cause them harm, or, you know, seeing the evil. I realize that this will entail reprogramming the entire basement security system, but I feel it is worth it. Why is that required, exactly? Could you not just, like, make another level of keycard? That feels like- that seems like that would be a simpler solution to get the same goal. If, for some unknown reason, someone who does not have clearance should get down to the basement, you are encouraged to use whatever means necessary to prevent their access to the threshold room. Any method you deem necessary, Ed. Our future depends on it. Sincerely... Sincerely, Paul. That took some... Some scrolling right there. Revelation. Hello, Peter. I was very excited to hear the news of the strange and unusual energy fluctuations because that sounds like things are trucking along as they should. I hope, as you do, that this indicates increased activity and perhaps the impending success of the synthesis attempts. Probably the exact opposite, to be fair. Dr. Puka Balava, is that a real name? 
has expressed concern, however, that the Wintech generators might be unable to withstand the stress of the additional activity on account of them having to open a literal portal to the underworld. I wanted to assure you that it will be taken care of and immediately before a problem can arise. Please arrange a meeting with us, Dr. Balava, and determine that between the two of you what new equipment is required, and it will be immediately obtained. In the meantime, I trust that you th the threshold equipment is being monitored around the clock. And desecration. Oh, desecration is Curtis, so that's interesting. Hello again, Ed. As my father used to say, there's an exception to every rule. The exception to the restriction policy I just sent you is an employee named Curtis Craig. He is not to be allowed anywhere near the basement or the threshold. I want to make that perfectly clear. However, in the unlikely event that he should make his way down to the basement, he is not to be quieted in any... quieted in any, and shall we say, permanent match. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble reading this. He is not to be quieted in any, shall we say, permanent manner. Rather, he should be detained, and Dr. Terence Marrick should be called immediately. Dr. Marrick will take Curtis away to a safe place where he will no longer be a danger to himself or to us. Curtis is a special employee. I don't want him harmed in any way. So they do the little, like, flashy flashy thing from Men in Black by the sounds of it right there. Alright, so... Now what? Oh, the door's open. Ooh. Don't even think about going over my head, Tom. Don't even think about it. You're losing it, Paul. Next meeting of the board, your head is going to fly. Don't you threaten me. You don't know what you're getting into. Oh, cut the dramatics, Paul. The, your time here is up. You are a dead man, Rebel. A dead man. You are a dead man, Craig. What a little bitch. Don't worry, Curtis. You look less like a fashion disaster somehow. Things are looking up. This is a poorly run mental facility. Spooky. Hey, what a shitty that. Right now, I'll have you sedated. What is the point of that? What is the point of this restraint? He is in no way restrained. I regret to inform you. Where's my latex? Man, Guy Fieri's really gone downhill in his later years. That's my Barbie doll! That's my Barbie doll! Uh-huh. Please continue. Fruit Loop! Fruit Loops and Cheerios! Take one! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see, I see. You raise a valid argument, sir. Happy birthday, baby! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got it, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But what about the dividends? There's my taco salad! There's a... That's a very small taco salad. Tasty bits of oats and chewy. Okay, mm-hmm. How many fucking scenes did they record with this guy? Quiet in the back of the room! Quiet in the back of the room! Are you not going to sedate him? Harabella Fonte went to... So many scenes. So is he like grooming that person for fleas even though they're like mostly bald? Pizza! 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 Eh! Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. I agree wholeheartedly. 
Disco dance, disco dance, disco dance. Hmm, that is indeed a disco dance, you are correct. How many fucking scenes are there? Everybody in the pool! Uh. Uh, you're starting to lose me, man. You're starting to lose me. Give me the Cheeto! I got I got you! I got you! I got you! Oh my god, please stop! That's my baby! That's my baby! I got. I... God damn. <laughs> hmm, that was a quiet one. I love you! I love you! Baby! Fucking finally! Holy shit! Seth Green! <laughs> yep, uh huh. I agree, definitely. No, sick! Sick and wrong! Like Alright, Wednesday. Calm the fuck down. Nurse, please sedate these people and stop them from, like, drawing on the wall with their own shit. Aww. Nurse. Come on! Nurse, what am I doing? Why am I here? I don't, I don't belong here. Shut up, wacko. Wow. Chicken McNugget Nugget Nugget! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You gonna take the 50 Nug Challenge, man? Alright, so the staff here are fucking fantastically helpful. Where did- why is no one on that side of the room, exactly? So what do you want now, exactly? Oh, hey there, what's going on? Freak. Monster. I saw you. I saw you when they brought you in. I saw your guts. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, everyone's got guts, so... Nothing to be ashamed Abomination. of. Mutant. Rude. Rude. Freak. Rude. I curse you with the black death. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> oh no, oh no. For you, oh vile rat. Oh god. My vile and filthy blood for you. Drink oh, me. Drink me. <laughs> Gross. Stop. Now there's people on that side of the room. Nurse, she's eating her fucking veins out. Stop her. Fucking hell. Where did all the people over here go? Where did they go? I definitely saw them. Okay, so... What now? What now? Aha! No. no! That was pretty rude. No! 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 Quick, Curtis, we gotta make a break for it. What a fucking awful restraint, Jesus Christ. Don't be minding me. Good, thank goodness they've all blinked. Oh, nope, they're back. I was gonna say, thank God they all blinked out of existence, but. Curtis, you've been a bad boy. Come on, Mary. Oh, come, on. come on. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh. Hey, boy. Come on, man. 
I'm not trying very hard to help. Come on, come here. Hey, bud. You gonna live? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. This is ridiculous. I don't give a damn what Paul said. I want you all to go home. Right now. I'm okay. Tom's right, Curtis. You better run now. You're out of your depth. You look terrible, Curtis. Go home and get some sleep, okay? Try not to get murdered. 